In this video, there's some great gift ideas for someone who loves stand-up paddleboarding. So whether you're looking to treat yourself or your loved ones, this video is for you. What's up ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Boy here, back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be giving you 10 gift ideas for someone who loves paddleboarding. So without further ado, let's get started. Phones can be useful when out paddling. They can be used as a way to contact someone in an emergency or just to take pictures of your journey. So a waterproof phone case makes a great gift idea. The one I use and would recommend is the Aquapack Classic. It's made from durable plastic, it's got a good seal and you're able to open and close it with wet hands or gloves due to the design. I see a lot of people going out on the water without a buoyancy aid. While it can be argued whether you need one or not for subs, it's definitely safer to have one. An inflatable PFD comes in a small bag that goes around your waist and it uses a CO2 cartridge to self-inflate when needed. So having an inflatable PFD is kind of the best of both worlds. It's not big and bulky and not too restricting, but it's there should you need it. The ones I would recommend are the NRS Zypher and the Palm Glide. A rash guard is a great idea because it's quick drying, designed for water so they don't chafe even when they are wet. They can be layered up with other clothes for paddling in cooler weather and if you go for a long sleeve option it has got better UV protection. I would recommend either the Quicksilver Heater long sleeve rash or the Gill Pro long sleeve rash vest. Oftentimes, when you go out paddling, you are in remote locations or a random car park without access to a changing room. A changing rope is a great idea, not only to dry yourself, but to get changed in without risking exposing yourself to the whole world. The one I would recommend is the Red Sups Microfiber Changing Rope. It packs up into a small lightweight stash bag and it's very absorbent and quick drying. If you are looking for a more budget friendly option, the Olean Adult Surf Puncho 900 from Decathlon is a good choice. Dry bags are a essential. They guarantee to keep your kit safe and dry. The options I would recommend is the Lomo Roll Top Dry Bag or the Overboard Dry Tube Bags. Both of these are very robust, they come in different sizes and colours and they feature a shoulder strap so that you can carry the bag with you. Let's be honest, paddle boards can be an awkward thing to carry, especially if you have short arms or you have one of those yoga boards without the handle in the middle. So a paddle board carrying strap makes the process of carrying your board heaps easier. A good option I'd go for is the Suspense Sup Stow and Go paddleboard strap. It can hold boards up to 36 inches wide and a max capacity of 100 pounds. It's also got extra padding to make it comfortable to carry and it has Velcro attachments for the paddle too. Glasses and sunglasses tend to sink, even the ones that are made of plastic. So a simple solution around this is getting a glasses retainer. They help to keep your glasses on and some even float. So even if you were to drop them in the water, your glasses won't sink. I use neoprene sailing retainers and many brands do them such as Palm and Gull. However, these are not ideal if you're wearing a helmet because you have to take the helmet off in order to be able to take your glasses off. So the other option I would recommend is the Job Floating Glasses Retainer. Board shoes are a great idea if you're paddling in cold water or you're required by a club to wear shoes. They offer you better grip, protect your feet, 
keep them warm, are less likely to fall off like an old pair of trainers, are less dirt and mud ingress into the shoes because they are tighter fitting. And finally, they give you good board feel as they don't have too much unnecessary padding. The ones I would recommend and I use are the Palm Rock shoes. Pumping up boards can be a chore and a Schrader valve adapter allows you to connect any compressor or car tire inflator. The one I own and use is the Red Sups Schrader valve adapter. It is robust and it works with most Sups. If you don't have a compressor or a car pump then this next option is for you. Speaking from experience, electric pumps makes setting up heaps better and potentially faster. The benefits unlike a car pump or compressor is that you can pack this in your bag and take it anywhere with you, making this my number one gift option for paddlers. One I have used and would recommend is the STX electric battery sup pump. It has a rechargeable battery and it can pump up your sup up to two to three times on one charge. It goes up to 16 PSI and you can charge it from a 12 volt car port or you can use the 240 mains plug. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna stay up to date with my latest videos, hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you updated with the latest videos. And as usual, ladies and gentlemen, adios.